Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Elise here at Plan With Elise and today is the start of an after the pen video where I take you along with me each day as I fill out my planner. So this is my big happy planner and the first thing I'm going to do is take the sticker book. This is A Year of Planning Volume 2 by Whimsy Lux and today is Martin Luther King Jr. Day. So I'm going to take that sticker and I think up there or down here? I think we'll put it right over here. Okay, it's a nice big sticker and it's good for a big planner because of the size. So I have some things that I need to get done today. I am working, I don't have the day off. So again, my to-do list is going to be intentional in terms of what I have for availability in my day. So one thing I need to do is pick up a prescription. Um, I've been talking about that in the last couple of after the pen videos. And then I wanna write down my weekend expenses. I had a busy weekend and I spent some money. So I'm going to put those in my um, expense tracker in my budget planner expenses. I would like to film today um, my February budget video. So I'll typically use this as kind of the overall, like all different things combined, whether it's social media, personal, things like that. And then um, I do want to get a manicure after work today. So that is on my list. I hope they're open. I know they're open on Mondays. I don't know if they would be closed on a holiday or not. In terms of my cleaning schedule, today is my bedroom. I do a different area of my apartment each day, sometimes twice a week. Um, but in addition to cleaning my bedroom, I want to clean out my refrigerator. I have some food in there that I just didn't finish in time. It needs to be thrown out and take out the garbage. So I wanna write clean out fridge. And what was the other thing in my brain? I had a thing on my brain. Oh, I have a couple of thumbnails for videos that aren't finished. So I just want to get the thumbnails done so that I don't forget. So that is what my day will look like. I still have about an hour and a half before work starts. So I'm probably going to film a budget video, maybe do some cleaning, pick up the RX, maybe on my lunch break. Um, and then I get the manicure after work and then we'll kind of go from there. So I am gonna write down the book that I am reading right now. I feel like that didn't look nice. I like to use these boxes for what I'm reading or watching if I have no other plans. So right now it's called, I feel like I wanna use a thinner pen since I had that as 0.5. So let's see, we have a Sharpie 0.38 here. It's called Someone Else's Life. That wasn't the best spacing that I've ever done, but <laughs> we'll deal with it. Okay, now over here, I think I'm going to be writing things I'm thankful for. This week's list, I don't know if yet if I'm going to do top to-dos or just things I want to remember from the week. So that will usually kind of get filled in as the week goes on, but I'm going to start my day. Hello, it is Tuesday. We are back. Um, I got through my whole to-do list yesterday. Not necessarily easily. It was, I had a, I had a, I don't know, a challenging day. Sometimes days, days are challenging. So um, we're going to list through today. So um, today is my stepsister's birthday. So I'm going to need to call her. I don't know what her work schedule is like. Whoops. B-I-R-T-H. Why did that look weird? Um, she also lives in Wisconsin. So I have to be mindful of the time difference, but maybe I'll give her a call after work. And then I realized this morning when I was making coffee that I only have like two K-cups left. So I need to order K-cups. I usually just get them on Amazon. Today's cleaning is my bathroom. I really find that having this schedule where it's like, oh, what am I going to clean or whatever, or chores, is just having the same thing 
each day of the week or having something outlined each day of the week is really helpful for me. Now it's easy for me because I live in an apartment. It's a two bedroom apartment, but I'm able to kind of knock those things out pretty quickly. Um, I do have video that I want to film then. Oh, um, there's a contract that I need to sign. I forgot to do it yesterday. So I need to do that today. Just sometimes with content creation, there's things like that, that have to get done. Okay. So order cake ups, clean bathroom film. I actually think it's going to be a two video day I'm trying to get back ahead where I'm going to film something in the morning and then I'll film something on my lunch break. Um, what else? I felt like I jotted some things down just on a piece of paper that were in my brain. And oh, um, I need to look at my budget. Because not really my budget, but I need to look at let me write bank account. Because yesterday was a holiday today, things process that normally would have processed last week or yesterday, and it's a little things aren't adding up properly. So I need to spend a little bit of time looking and making sure that those are adding up. And then I want to, I want to set up a morning journal. Right now I'm journaling at the end of the day and I've been inspired to try a morning journal. So I think what I'm going to do is take like a sheet of note paper and write the, the date. So I'll write like 16, 17, 18, etc. Stick it in the middle of my journal and do a couple of lines in the morning. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm not sure what's going to go in this box yet. We'll see how the day goes as usual, but I'm going to get to this list this morning. I will likely order the K cups, um, look at my bank account and morning journal, maybe film depending on how much time I have. And then we will continue. Hello, we are back. It is Wednesday. Um, okay, yesterday I was able to get through my to-do list. I'm feeling really productive this week. And then we're going to write today, even though it was yesterday. Was the, oh, how lovely. Let's see. Oh, how lovely. Uh, release. That was the like Valentine's themed be happy box. And I don't remember what time. I don't think it was a specific time. It was like it was up on the website. So I'm trying to remember because I was on my lunch break when it went live. I feel like it was maybe 145. I'm just gonna write 145. It doesn't necessarily mean that was accurate, but I feel like I have that space. So <laughs> we need to do something with the space. Okay. Today's cleaning is kitchen. And then I have some videos I want to film. I feel like I'm somehow behind, not really behind, but like feeling more behind than usual on my own videos. So that's going to be part of my focus today. So before work today, I'm going to film um, my Throwback Thursday, which is going to be a new series on my channel. Thurs. And then I need to film my dashboard video that's going to go up this week. We're going to do dash 30. Um, I need to text two of my friends today. Sometimes putting in my planner is the reminder to send a text. And then I also want to reach out to, this is one of my goals um, for the month is to talk to a realtor. So I need to reach out to him and see if there's a time we can schedule to, um, to meet this week or have a phone conversation or something like that. Okay, now I'm still working on February prep for Patreon. So we're going to do Feb oops, page prep. And then I have a garbage in my office. I actually have two garbages right now in my office that need to be taken out. I meant to do it yesterday and the day got away from me. So we're just going to write office trash. Okay, I did start reading a new book. Um, I finished someone else's life and I started a book by Kevin Hart. I'll probably write that here if nothing else comes up. Also yesterday, and I just want to show you while we are here, I got new item, items from the new Caitlin Plans release. I'm on Caitlin's rep team. So some of these are actually older stickers, 
let me show you. Well, these are older. I used them last year. So I was able to pick some older stickers um, for this package. I think that's, yeah, I think that's all the older ones. So now let's take a quick peek at the new ones. Of course, you can save using code Elise15 on these stickers. This one is my favorite. Look at this. I love bagels. Who doesn't? <laughs> but I actually requested two of these because I'm obsessed with these bagel stickers. Then we have this trio for Hip Hip Hooray for a birthday. So we have this, it's your day to sparkle. When life gives you birthdays, eat cake. Super fun. I can't wait to use these in my birthday. Unfortunately, I have to wait till July. I could use them for someone else's birthday, but the big birthdays I would decorate for are mine, my nephew, who's also July, and my niece, who is August. So um, waiting for my birthday would make sense. Then we have the newest flower. So this is blue violets, which are the New Jersey blue violets. I didn't know that. I didn't know the New Jersey flower. Then with the food theme, two brunch babe stickers. But first, brunch. Brunch is a fun. <laughs> They're really cute. Then we have the Black History Month sticker sheet where all proceeds benefiting Black Girls Smile. So this says Black History Month. Never be limited by other people's limited imaginations. History has shown us that courage can be contagious and hope can take on a life of its own. Where there is no vision, there is no hope. And then we have, oh, and I think I said all proceeds are going to benefit Black Girl Smile. You can get this as printed or printable. Then we have some Valentine stickers. So Valentine's quotes and XOXO. And then cherry blossoms, like spring is coming. It's coming. So these are really cute. I'll be sure to link them in the description and code Elise15 will give you a discount. I'm going to get to this to-do list and I will see you tomorrow. Hello. It is Thursday. I am back. Okay. Got through yesterday's to-do list and we're going to write reading again. It's often what I put here because I don't have things that go on every week. Like I don't, every day, I don't necessarily have plans. So reading is like a good way to do it. So um, I finished reading this. It's called, this is how we do it. It's by Kevin Hart. It's short. It's like 66 pages. If you have an opportunity to download it or read it or pick it up at the library, I highly recommend it. It's a really good book and a pep talk. He kind of frames it as a pep talk. And I think sometimes we could all use a pep talk. Okay. I ended up writing. I know this wasn't on camera, but I did write because I have that phone call today at 5 PM to have a conversation with a realtor. Today's cleaning is my office. Um, I want to go to the bank to get my envelopes for the week. There's a there's a trick. <laughs> I don't know if everyone can do this, but if you delay getting cash from the bank all week, you might spend less <laughs> because if you're me, because you just didn't pick up, um, you didn't get the cash. All right, so I did clean office, go to the bank. There's two videos that I'd like to film today. So again, it'll be a morning and lunch day, lunchtime filming day. Um, so I have an exclusive, Patreon exclusive, and also um, a self-care video. I've been working more on Patreon February prep. So I'm going to write printable here as a reminder as to what that is for. And one of my goals for February, I'm like starting to kind of draft my goals and brainstorm them is a digital declutter. So I want to think about, we're gonna brainstorm. And we're just gonna write D, D as the brainstorm. Okay, now let's write today. Tonight I'm having dinner with my friend. Do you have any friends in your life who you rarely see and every time you see them you're like why do we only do this once a year well that's my friend gina <laughs> so i saw gina um the week between christmas and new year's and then we made a plan 
And then last Thursday, she texted me at night and was like, I just got a notification that we're supposed to be having dinner right now. And I was like, we both <laughs> screwed it up. So we said, what about this Thursday instead? So we are having dinner tonight and I'm really looking forward to it. I love her. And we're going to talk about budgeting and planning and life and all the things. And honestly, I could use a margarita. So <laughs> we are going to go to a Mexican, like a Tex-Mex restaurant that I love and um, I know it's gonna be some of the light that I needed this week. This spread is definitely some of the light that I needed this week as well. So I'm gonna get to it and I'll check in with you tomorrow. Hello, I am back. It's Friday, T-G-I-F. Okay, so um, had a good day yesterday. Was able to get everything done on my list. Today, um, one, two, three. I'm going to note three releases over here and then let's go to the rest. I'll get back to that in a second. So today's cleaning is living room, which means clearing off my coffee table, sweeping the floors. Uh, my living room, which is like where my front door is, is typically where I put boxes of packages and stuff. So that'll include like taking out the recycling, things like that. Um, okay. Releases. We're going to go in order. So Kel of uh plan and we're gonna do this in my time zone hell of a plan mojo jojo it's also 11 and jojo's we're just gonna write jojo's um uh, no there's more room pretty <laughs> maybe that's enough and that will be at two i believe so the Calva Plan and Mojo Jojo are things I'm an affiliate for. Companies, not things I'm an affiliate for. So I want to make sure to share those. Jojo's Pretty Paper Shop. I will be shopping and also, of course, as a customer, want to share. Um, I want to reach out to my brother to see if my niece wants to sleep over tonight. We don't really have any plans to see them this weekend, but I thought that maybe he'll reach out. And then um, I need to email my accountant because I start. I'm starting to get some tax stuff. So send him an email. I also switched things yesterday. I put a budget video instead. Today I'm going to do the self-care video. Um, Fridays are usually my least productive days because I work eight to four. So I'm actually filming this on my lunch break. I didn't even have a chance this morning before work started to, um, to film this. So just transparent. But these two have already happened. The rest still needs to happen. So I'm going to film this video on my lunch break. Then I'll take care of the rest as I can. And then um, probably read. Right now I'm reading Carrie Soto is back. So if I don't end up doing anything tonight, then I can put that over here. Um, but we'll see what happens. So I'm going to get to this list since I have about 55 minutes left of a lunch break and eat something and I will check in with you tomorrow. Hi, it's Saturday. I'm back. Okay. Um, I didn't end up doing much last night. I read. So, um, did I read it? What was I reading? Oh, this is how we do it. Okay. I started reading, um, a book by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I've loved everything of Taylor Jenkins Reid that I've loved which has only been a few, but I've still loved them all. So this is called Carrie Soto is back. Okay, so that's a book that I'm reading. I'm loving it. I'm like halfway through. I'd like to finish it today because another library book by um, Taylor Jenkins Reid became available today to me which is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I think that's what it's called. So I'd like to finish this so that I can, I want to, I want to finish this, but I also want to enjoy it. Like I actually last night put it away because I was like, I could spend another two hours reading this and finish it, but also I'm really enjoying it and I don't want to rush through it. Not that I feel like I rush through books, but I want the story, you know what I mean? To last a little bit longer. Okay. Today is mission organization. So it's early uh, Saturday and I really want to work on my office. Now, generally my office is pretty organized. However, I'm going to start writing things and then we'll talk about it. Otherwise, it's just going to be my hands for 10 minutes. Um, however, one of the challenging spaces that I have is my office closet. So 
Um, as a creator, I am blessed in that I get a lot of products sent to me. However, the more and more products that come, the more difficult it becomes to figure out where to put them. So I have been using a Hudson cart from Michaels, which is the wide three-tiered rolling cart on the left side of my closet because my office is a bedroom. It has a closet. The right side of my closet, I have a nine cube organizer. I can't put a nine cube organizer on the left side because my like modem and internet stuff is there. So that takes up like six inches and I don't have the space for it. So last night I decided to purchase a six cube organizer from Target. So that will fit on the left side because the Hudson card I have isn't really great for organization like it works for sticker books but I don't use it for sticker books and it was just becoming like a dumping ground and it wasn't working having something that's more of an organized cube system is going to be best for me so I need to pick that up take out recycling we need to build the piece so really those two should be swapped um and then work on office and that's going to be most of my day I'm really planning on making it like almost a full work day, maybe from like nine to three or something really full on do this. <laughs> I also would like to film a little bit. I'd like to film two videos. I don't know if it's going to happen, but we're going to write them down. So I'm going to film a classic here and I'm not entirely sure it might be a dashboard, um, but right now I'm actually working on February content. So on a day like today, when I don't have any plans and nowhere to go beside, you know, whatever, besides Target pickup, I do like to work ahead on content just to make future weeks a little bit easier for myself. So we're going to write two filming and then um, I'm not entirely sure what the next thing will be. And I don't know what this box will be either. <laughs> I feel very, uh, now tomorrow I do know a couple of things. I want to get my eyebrows done. Oh, you know what the other thing I wanted to do today? Oops, boom, boom. Did you hear that? Amazon delivery, exciting. Um, I want to take all the photos for next week. So I know I have tomorrow's photo done. Next week, um, photos. But I'd like to get the photo for Monday. Let's see what spread that is. Oh, this is a pretty one. I'm excited about this spread. Okay. Um, so next week's photos, which is I think the week you're seeing this video, but I can't obviously take a photo of this yet because it's not going to be finished. All the things. All right. I'm excited about mission organization today and I will check in with you tomorrow. Hi, everybody. We are back for the final day of another After the Pen video. I hope you've been enjoying these videos. Yesterday was so productive. My office is finished, 98% finished. I'm so happy about it. Um, I did get everything done. I did finish reading. Carrie Soto is back. And then... Um, I'm like, what do I write over here? I could write, this was a really productive day. I also got a cool message on Instagram um, yesterday from a company that asked if they can reshare something that I posted. So I feel like I might write that over here. Um, this is where it gets hard. I mean, it's not like a secret, but this is where sometimes it can be hard because like there's things I want to write in my planner, but I also want to like wait for something like, cause what if I write in my planner and they never share it? You know what? It's not a secret. So I'm just doing it. It's just like something I struggle with. Um, message. Let's write message. From. And, um, if you are a book lover, definitely go follow Reese's book club on Instagram because that's Reese Witherspoon's book club and they always share their book of the month. And they asked if they can share something of mine, which is so cool. One of my reels. Um, let's do, whoops, that's a terrible arrow. Asked to re-share my reel where I was showing my bookshelf tracker, which is, it was, it was a cool thing. 
Okay, um, today I do want to get an eyebrow wax. The nail salon opens shortly, so I'll probably run over and get that done. And then I'd like to, so I'm gonna talk about this in my February goals video, but I've been talking about wanting to take one day off per week. And that's doable. It's important, let me rephrase. It's important to do that when I have a lot of plans. However, I don't have a lot of plans this week. So I haven't really done much in terms of social, um, not social media, social interaction. So today I am, let me, let me write this. Today I am going to visit um, Mel, Dean, and Ethan at 2 p.m., which means I don't need to leave until 1.30, which means I have, from what time is it now? 8.30 to 1.30 to figure out how I want to spend my day. So I'm not opposed to filming today, even though I filmed yesterday and probably every day this week, because I have I don't have anything else going on. And for me, a lot of times filming videos is self-care because it's my way of being creative and productive. So that's it. I am going to film two videos today. One is going to be the next Throwback Thursday video. And I'm not sure what the other one's going to be yet, but I know I'm going to do it. So I'm just going to write that there. Then um, I need to buy groceries. And um, let's write reels for this week. I'd like to have a couple filmed so that I'm ready to post. Sometimes once the workday begins for me, it's just like, ah, go, go, go. So I'd really like to get my photos taken and some reels done. And then I wanted to write here photos for mom. Um, my mom has an Etsy shop and she has some new products coming, which I'm really excited about. So I'm helping her out just by taking photos for her. The rest is on her. She's doing the Etsy listings. She's doing the creative, the messaging, all of that. But I am helping out with the photos. So I want to get those taken. And let's hold off on this last to do because I'm not sure what it'll be yet. That said, we are going to go over to this side, which I have left blank. So um, feeling thankful. So here we're going to write some things that I'm feeling thankful for this week. So let's grab a couple. We're going to grab my paper made just for some bullets. I'm going to write mom and Josh, my mom and my brother. I'm always thankful for them. This week I'm feeling extra thankful for them. Can we see? Are we on in frame? I feel like we're okay. Um, and Josh, um, okay, I'm going to write trusted friends. I think that as I get older, having friendships with people who know me well, know what I need, um, and those I trust is just beyond important. I'm going to write an outlet. In books. Outlet might not be the right word, maybe sanctuary. Um, reading is one of the only things that I can do that stops my mind from thinking about anything else. And sometimes filming, but reading is definitely it for me. And I'm really thankful to be able to have that. We're going to write 2023 20, opportunities. And I'm not talking about like business opportunities and like all that, but just kind of, I'm still in this mindset of anything can happen <laughs> this year. So um, I hope I'm always in that mindset of anything can happen today, this week, this month, and this year. I am a perspective-based optimist, which means that I know that there's tough things. Tough things in life happen. However, I've been through tough things. I've survived them all. We've all survived them all. And I know that more good will come when there's a bad one. I know that good is right on the other side. The sun will always come out tomorrow. And I don't believe it's a toxic positivity thing. I think it's a perspective-based optimism. All right. Um, less 
then 40 days until go wild. There's so much about go wild that I'm looking forward to. It's a planner conference that happens once a year. Last March was in Anaheim. This time is in Washington, DC. And I'm looking forward to going to Washington, DC. I'm looking forward to the speakers. I'm looking forward to meeting so many of you because that was part of the best part of Anaheim last year was meeting those of you who um, watch my videos and just kind of hang out with me here. And then the other piece of it too is seeing my friends. I have so many close planner friends who are some of the closest people in my life and most of them live the plane right away. Um, and so I only see them once or twice a year, maybe. So um, I'm really excited to see my friends and just kind of have that time spent together. So now we have this week's list to figure out what I want to write over here. So if I look, I did read three books this week, so I could list those three there, but they're already here. I feel like this week's list maybe should have been filled out at the beginning of the week, or instead, I think we're going to write the best things about the week. So we're going to write finished, office, which might mean that we're nearing ready for an office tour, something that I've been <laughs> moving to the next month for the last May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, for the last nine months. I can't believe I've been in this apartment nine months. Is that real? That's crazy. Excuse me, that is crazy. Um, finished office. I hope this doesn't get canceled. I don't think it will, but I'm gonna write <laughs> saw Ethan. Whoops. I got him a ball pit and I cannot wait to share the ball pit with him. I'm really excited for that. Um, and what else? I'm so excited about my office. That's like the biggest the biggest thing right now. Um, we're gonna write feeling, motivated, especially now that my office is organized. This is where I spend most of my time between both jobs. And so once it's organized, I feel good. Okay, I think that is a wrap on this after the pen. I will not come back later and talk about what I checked off over here or didn't. This is part of my getting things done is going to be getting this video uploaded so that I can schedule for you to watch. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thanks for hanging out with me all week. Please do subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed yet, and I will see you next time.